please. Mike Palmer. Here. Bruce Bell Here. Bill Henderson. Here. Bill Blasio. Here. Deborah Dukes. Here. Nina Petroselli. Here. Virginia Snyder. Here. Mayor Betty Copeland. Here. Solicitor Thomas McDermott. Here. And Mayor Joe Sainz. Here. Berman and Lloyd Cohen. Here. Police Chief Ty King. Here. Fire Chief Bill Silvio. Here. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll start with our visitors. Um, Come to recognize as Mary Weiss. Thank you. Short, very short. Um, I want to ask a question first. I asked Mr. Henderson, and he did not really know the answer. When I came home from work tonight, came down Station Street Hill, wanted to make a left turn onto Railroad Street, and it was closed. And here's traffic coming down this way, and I'm trying to go in this way. So I finally pulled in the gas station and parked there to get across the street. The van there told me that was going to be a week and a half to two weeks. For a little, I mean, Railroad Street's just not that long. So if you have any better word, I'd appreciate it. Because we have people coming in. Yeah, I'm not sure. Thank you. The other thing I wanted to ask about is what I read in the newspaper, and quite a few people have expressed, I wish they were here tonight to express it to you, their dissatisfaction with the monetary breakdown of the costs over at Chartier Street. Uh, this was sort of what they came up with, that we need to find out as quickly as possible from PennDOT exactly when they're going to create and build a bridge from, we'll say, the Rec Center at Upper St. Clair. Build it all the way across till they get on I-79. If we ever get on a new highway, 43, whatever it is, they'll get on that too. But that would be one way if Pondout, Pendant was going to do that soon, that I would say we should go ahead with the rest. But if that's not the case, then I really recommend that unless we get monies from the third party, that we shut down, forget it, let them sit in, let them sit in traffic. Or, if they don't want to sit in traffic, they can certainly, um, I would ask PennDOT to allow the toll booths and, and, the, and start to clean it out a little bit. But something needs to be done t to protect us the residents, the taxpayers of Bridgeville. That's it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mary. Uh, Council Director recognizes Passport of Lazio. Hello. And thank you all for spending the time to ensure that our borough moves forward. Appreciate it. Thank you, Pat. Uh, Council recognizes Bob Fryer. Oh, yes. <coughs> I think that the, uh, 
I think you should make an effort to analyze this more carefully. And uh, you, can, you don't have to necessarily trust PennDOT or anybody else. But it's, uh, it will be a disadvantage to the people in Bridgeville for us to only have, or the people that want to get out of town who leave our traffic for us to only have one lane going over the bridge uh, to that area. I might mention, <clears throat> Not, not the, the, the public meeting that PennDOT had, I think it was the 18th of April. Uh, there was some uh, reference to uh, it would be too difficult to add another lane on the bridge uh, so that we could have two lanes coming out of Bridgeville. They referred to things like uh, widening the bridge in addition to 12 feet would cause flooding. Uh, there's no, I, I suggest you look into that because. When I called the Army Corps of Engineers, they said it would take three months for them to make that calculation. And they didn't think it was a problem. Okay? The only thing is, if there is a problem about adding another lane to the bridge, whether it be on the upstream side or the downstream side, uh, and, and there, there really is a, a chance of flooding, which I doubt, uh, what you should attempt to do is, uh, PennDOT has given this uh, right lane on the upstream side of the bridge exclusively to the people that want to drive up uh, up Chartier Street to Upper St. Clair and Bethel Park. We hope you should ask them to uh, investigate this. Then, ha then have that lane that given to the Upper St. Clair people to be part of the to allow the double lane over here to get our traffic out of time. It's very important. I think Mary mentioned something about uh, uh, you know, that's the other thing I wanted to mention. Someone told me that we're, the, we're paying two hundred some thousand dollars for to widen the uh, widen Chartier Street for one hundred and seventy yards. I don't know if that's true or if it's just toward the whole project, but I think uh, I just think that's unfair to the people in Bridgeville because only about twenty five percent of the people that come down Chartier Street when we go across the bridge. Are from Bridgeville, uh, 80% of them are from Upper St. Clair. Maybe I would be citing Upper St. Clair to help pay for that cost. Thank you. Just as a note, the, the exclusive lane from Chartier Street uh, coming from South Bay, going up Chartier Street, is part of the new variation of the We It wasn't part of our project. I, I, I didn't understand what you said before. I'm sorry. The exclusive lane coming from South Bay at going up Chartier Street oh, yes. is not part of our design. It was part of the HOP oh, yeah. um, mm -hmm. for Newberry that is was required by the handout yeah. for Newberry. Yeah, well, you know what I was going to mention? The, the, the widening of Chartier Street was done in the obvious position for the drugstore. Yeah. Are, are we paying for that? We got a grant of three hundred thousand for that, and what? our and our share of that is two hundred eighty-eight thousand. It's five hundred eighty-eight thousand dollar project. Yeah, but the other some invoice stuff is going to see what happens. Bob, hey, hey, thank you, sir. Bob, real quick, I know you, you talk about Mike Ben and we we talked about it. You know, Mike's not obviously not here to answer you know, to comment on that. That's right. But you know, that design that you had there could have been an initial, like, very preliminary design. That was a couple years ago, and um, Joe, I'm sure you can comment and say that I can't remember any time where Mike was. We never, we never had any communications or. Uh, well, Mike was in all of our. Was all our meetings, but he right. never expressed any concern right. about the design work that was being proposed by Ben right. consultants. He never. Well, I, don't remember, I don't recall him yeah. any other saying, "Oh, this has to be this way." And thus, I'm just telling you the meetings that we had together. So. Well, to tell you something, when you, when you guys were at the uh, April, I guess some of you were at the April the public meeting of the fire department, when you noticed that there was only one lane coming out of the bridge of morning to South Ed, did any of you object to that either no. during the meeting or after the meeting? No, we, we, Do you think that's okay? Yes, I think I think the design they have is, is, is the right design. So your official position is you don't think there would be any benefit? So the people in Bridge, let me finish. The people in Bridge having two lanes uh, evacuating the traffic and essential business is Well, it's not a question of it's, it's a question of 
the scope of the, the scope of the project and what we can accomplish. Do you mean the amount of money that PennDOT would have to spend? My money. Is that what you mean by the scope of the project? No, 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 if I could interject, yeah. the scope of the project being emphasizes repeatedly at that meeting and throughout. We didn't find out about the stuff at that meeting. They knew about the design, what we used to each other. Everybody worked on that design for two years up through to culminating in that meeting. They emphasized at that meeting, if you, if you were listening there at that meeting, the scope, the physical scope of the project area is that, and it is in no way of exclusive of other. They anticipated projects moving right on down the line into South Bay, which may in the future be the sort of thing that you're talking about. Yeah, the, you're, you're talking this about is a PennDOT project scope. They scope things in confined areas. They don't stop one project because of maybe a future one down the road, or they don't wait on one because the next one hasn't come yet. This is the project that they've worked hard for a long time, and that's the scope, the physical scope. Well, I don't know what that means by scope, but I'll tell you what it is. And I'll tell you what it's going with that. Since there's only one lane coming from Bridgeville to Safed, Safed's comprehensive plan calls for Washington Pike to be four lanes, moving lanes, to the Safed Business District, out to Road. Uh, That's exactly so, what we're know. talking about, and those would be future projects yeah, that done by Safed in conjunction with yeah, yeah, but this is, this is a bridge. Well, they, I just, don't, they don't build bridges. I just wanted to address. I just wanted to address when you speak of your well, collaboration with Mike, with Mike right, Patrick, right. who is no longer here. That's right. He's and deceased. Correct. Yes, he's deceased. 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 And you, you throw you. I mean, you've been coming to these meetings for years, and last month was the very first time you mentioned. Oh, I've been working with Mike Patrick. I mean, so that's why I'm questioning. Well, talk, talk to the people. I'll talk to his wife. Talk to the officials. I'll talk to his wife. Talk to, talk to, yeah, you can please, please do that. You know, I've been to his house. He's been like, okay, I don't want to get into it. I know. That's why that's my plan. Exactly. It's, it's less than two years old. He and I took a 150 foot long tape measure <laughs> and measured every one of these uh, distances because that's how determined he was. That's the reason. Do you want to doubt that? No. He never communicated that to our task. Yeah. Well, he communicated to me and other officials. Why wouldn't he communicate it to well, our Tell me something. The basic thing is, you guys have taken the official position that I just said that you think there'd be no advantage of having two lanes going from Bridgeville and the South Bend Central Business System. Is that correct? No, that's not what they said at all. That's just, that is right. what they said. Do, do you think Bridgeville can benefit from having two lanes? <coughs> Going from I'm not asking you, do you think Bridgeville can benefit from having I'm two not sure. lanes? I haven't studied it. Well, well I, I, think, uh, I think it's obvious. Uh, I don't, and I don't know why you haven't asked PennDOT to modify the plan. Anyway, that's my recommendation. Bob, Bob you know, PennDOT has done all their studies, and there's things called warrants that have to be met. Okay? And they have <laughs> satisfied, they've done their investigation. Completed the study, yeah. and they provided their results. And there's certain levels of warrants that have to be met in order to get additional lanes. They don't meet those additional warrants or thresholds to achieve the additional lanes. Are you talking about traffic volume? Their traffic volume, yes. Well, let me give you an example. You know, I've asked them, as you know, and I've asked you guys, to support a left turn stacking lane from Washington Avenue left on Chartier Street. The PennDOT traffic count was 50% wrong. 50% wrong. I'm not and, and also the cost of uh, widening the road uh, and field on Drugstore's side, uh, they had the newspaper said it was a million dollars. The actual cost was thousand. You guys have to double check the data. Well, here's, here's the thing, Paul, and I'm not going to argue with you because that, that turning lane that you're referring to is a perfect example of PennDOT doing their study and whether or not the warrants are there to justify it. You mean they, the left turn? The left turn. They do not have the justification to do the left turns there based on their traffic counts and studies. Okay? I think it was a very low number, in my recollection. Yeah, the, okay. le the left turn, they said there were only uh, 17. Very close, so it's not it's not economically feasible to do it. 
On the regular meeting, uh, <coughs> resolution number 2018-05, motion to borrow accounts regarding resolution number 2018-05 as per PennDOT requirements 1.10.14, signs and banners across state highways. Resolution designating the intention of the Bridgeville Borough to place one banner across State Route 50 to be installed August 30th, 2018, and removed uh, October 1st, 2018, for the Bridgeville South Fayette Rotary Club Chili Book Off to be held September 30th, 2018. I'll move. So, Ruchi? And who's Gower Ruchi? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Point 10. First. Oh, I missed the minutes. I'm sorry, I missed the minutes. Uh, minutes. Uh, motion for a comment regarding the minutes of May 14th, 2018, regular meeting as submitted. So moved. Uh, Bruce Galrucci. Second. And Nina Petricelli. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Yes. Motion carries. Resolution number 2018-06, a motion for a comment regarding resolution number 2018-06. A resolution authorizing the president of council to sign a contribution agreement number 119556 between the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania Department of Transportation and Bridgeville Borough for the State Route 50 Washington Avenue and State Route 3034 Chartier Street projects. Contributions amount 788000 which includes 300000 in GEDF grant monies. So Joe Costo, yes, sir. Bruce, yeah. Bruce Calarucci, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Visual Parking Authority Station, uh, Station Street Parking Request. A motion of Borough Council regarding the request of the Visual Parking Authority to add six additional paid parking spaces on the southerly side of Station Street fronting the first United Methodist Church and former Norwich Party House. Mike, if you, uh, if I could, yes, sir. Open some discussion on this. We've had uh, uh, a couple of different opportunities to talk about this, and, and um, I would like to go on record opposed to, to this. And the reason so is those five spots are right in front of the Methodist Church, and I believe it, it would be the only place in town where there'd be metered parking in front of a church. Uh, I, I don't like the way that looks, and I don't like the way it feels, to be quite honest with you. So I'm personally not in favor of that, but I, it, I would like to open up the discussion and see how it's going on. Is anybody aware? Is that a motion? No, no, it's no. Oh, I'm just going to I'm sorry. So it's a motion then. Well, that was the first one. The second one the discussion. Yeah. We haven't, there hasn't been a motion at all. Oh, okay. There's no motion on the floor. Um, you, know, I, I, you know, I agree as well, uh, Bill, uh, to what you're saying. Um, you know, there's a paid parking spot right there. Uh, you know, if there's a, they already put the parking key on there. They, you know, it wasn't, they're asking for a request that's already been issued. They covered it up, so they're waiting yeah. for, for us to make a determination, and then they'll take it out. Okay. Was it a mistake that they put the meter there and lined those spots? Mm -hmm. Are we just trying to like bump our way into some extra spots? Like, what did the park authority need these? Did they present a need for them? Did they ask the people about it? Like, you know, it's a procedural yeah, issue. It's it's regular order things, basically. Yeah. 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 There, there was, there, there's a sign there that says two hour park, two mm -hmm. hour free parking, and I, I think it was just a mistake that they put them there, and then. Uh, of course, the kiosk is there, so people started to pay. Uh, the other thing I would I would like to mention is, I mean, they don't need the money to maintain those spots. We maintain the streets. It's not a parking lot, so right. I don't think that they're losing any money to maintain those particular spots. Mm -hmm. right. All right. Is there a motion? Mary, yes, Mary. I am a member of that church, and I can understand both sides of the problem. However, I would never look up that parsonage 
in part belongs to me for what I donate a week. <laughs> but I wouldn't want a kiosk in front of it, and I'm sorry that it's there. Other than that, you know, okay. they can always somehow rent space back in a parking lot. Some of your money back. <laughs> So, nice do I need to put that in the form of a motion to deny the request? So moved. I'd like to deny the request for adding those, those spots in that kiosk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Aye. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. Uh, Bill Liss. There's a motion of the Borough Council regarding the June 2018 bill list. I'll move. And then we've got all those in favor? Uh, all those opposed? Motion carries. Uh, payrolls, motion to the Borough Council approving the payrolls of June 15, 22, 29, and July 6, 2018. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Bruce Gallarucci, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Uh, monthly reports. Um, a motion to accept and pay any commissions due to the May 2018 Real Estate Tax Collector Report. I'll move. Uh, Joe Gucci and PJ Bott. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Motion to accept the April 2018 Financial Report. I'll move. Joe Gucci. Second. And Bruce Gallarucci. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Uh, motion to accept the May 2018 police report. So move. Uh, Bill Henderson. Second. And Bruce Gallarucci. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. And motion to accept uh, the May 2018 zoning report. So move. Is that Bill? Yes. And Second? Second. And uh, BJ? Bye. All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. And finally, uh, real estate tax refund. Uh, motion to Borough Council regarding the following real estate tax refund due to change in the assessment as requested by the real estate tax collector year 2017, lot block 255-8-279 for $123.43 to SJ Group. I'll move. Second. Joe Rucci and Joe Plasimo. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Uh, committee report. Uh, administration. Bruce. No report, sir. Right. Uh, finance, Joe. Uh, other than the uh, large quarterly bill that we play, the sanitary authority nothing <coughs> really popped out on the expenses uh, this past month. Uh, there is uh, on the uh, one thing that popped out is our delinquency. Our, I talked about this the last couple of months. Uh, it only went down $1,000 this year, uh, this past month. Um, I have learned uh, that uh, Ms. Collins has asked for a full list of the delinquent taxes that are due still. Um, it's almost six months now. Um, and uh, she's only received a portion of the list. Uh, I'm not sure why, uh, but I'd like to for us as council to request that that list be supplied by the 15th of this month, uh, or we'll need to have the tax collector at the next meeting explain why. Okay. Uh, so we can put that in a formal writing. Yeah. But do we have to make that as a motion? Recommendation motion. Okay, my motion is to, to send a formal letter requesting the full delinquency list of taxes. Uh, supplied to us by the 15th, or uh, the tax collector is willing to come and explain why we haven't received the full list uh, by the uh, at the next month's meeting. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. That's all I have. Uh, Parks and Rec. Joe uh, Glossman. Uh, not much. I know Lori has a uh, drawing of the uh, comprehensive plan that we at Park Street Committee sort of recommended. And I guess we'll be calling the meeting pretty soon to go over the uh, findings of our meeting, what the came up with. We'll go from there, hopefully, get some money to pick up our couple of them. Okay. Uh, 
That's all I have. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, of course, you know, Bob already here. Okay, so, okay, thank you, Mr. Chairman. We, uh, Public Work, installed the tent rail in front of the police station. It looks very nice. It was meant in the, uh, the old uh, work. It's beautiful. Public Work did a lot of, of the preliminary work on that. We saved quite a bit of money there. We helped in, uh, they helped uh, with the wiring for Chateau Park. We installed the scoreboard at Chateau Park. Pitch basin repair on Union Street. Spray weeds. Clean planters on Washington Avenue. Clean up trash from the street. Rent a sweeper. Uh, cut down trees in town. Turn on the water at the park. We got water there, Joe. It's not enough where it came from the sky. <laughs> they rebuilt catch base, police car maintenance, tractor maintenance, and cut the grass. As you know, it's a very long list, and I always say that for the few people we have in public court, they do not have a good job. And so is the police. We don't have enough to go into the place, but they do a good job. Thank you. Uh, public safety, bills. Well, aside from that parking, Mike, the uh, other thing we're working on is the police negotiation. We uh, continuing that. We have a scheduled meeting with the committee tomorrow, and we're going to progress those negotiations. Thank you, uh, Madam Mayor. Mr. President. Tomorrow is the Fresh Time Ribbon Cutting at 3.30 p.m. at Great Southern Shopping Center. On Flag Day, I will be making a, a speech. And I thank you to the Police Department, the Chief, for allowing Officer France to escort me to the three cemeteries for the Memorial Day Parade. It was very, very nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Police Chief, Chad King. Thanks, Mr. President. Um, Greg went off about any hit <coughs> it went pretty well. Obviously now we focus on uh, Bridgeville Day on the Avenue, which is this Saturday. Starting tomorrow, we'll be disposing or depositing the flyers to local businesses and residents, uh, letting them know the park restrictions and road shutdown details for Saturday. Uh, as far as the police department goes, I think this year again we have another 150 bicycle helmets to distribute, plus gun locks and slap bracelets. I believe last year we gave up close to 150 bicycle helmets in less than an hour and a half. So if you want a bicycle helmet, you're going to get there fast, get there early. That's all I have. Thank you very much. Uh, solicitor report. Huh? Thank you. Uh, you're here, just like the camera report. I will add that I met with young one thing today. We have a free construction meeting and the love wife went to the town town before the end of the week to do the uh, 2018 road program and uh, one of the uh, parks committee wants to get together we'll go over the master plan and uh, so now we'd like to make any adjustments with our first first flush at it and a bunch of good feedback from it. Uh, Fire Chief, we'll chill in. Thanks Mr. President. You have my report. Uh, as everybody can see we were actually very busy last month. So and then he explained everything on community. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, historical Society. There he was. Excuse me, we used to not work too well in this case. Real short and sweet. Uh, you all are invited tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, over at the uh, Rural Road Station. Uh, we're going to be talking about George Washington losing the uh, Army, whatever you want to call it, militia against the Indians and the French export necessity. Uh, then Thursday night, although I won't be here, but please attend this Flag Day ceremony. It starts, I believe, at 7. You could be wrong. Uh, Saturday, virtual day on the avenue. Again, the first time I've ever missed it, but the family goes first. Then the can come set. Thank you. 
Um, also, at the end of the month, we'll be kind of the pamphlets here on the about of uh, the history lesson will be on the point, the port that's there. We have a member who is a docent there, and um, so we're hoping that a lot of you will come for that. And we wish you a very good summer and see you in the fall. So thank you. Thank you. Uh, is everybody approved the library? Um, uh, if anyone has any questions on our report, and just to note that, as we had said, the Dan Avenue uh, is Saturday, it begins at 11, it ends at 6 o'clock. Um, there are a lot of vendors and food, and a lot of people come down and have a good time. We'll be closing the road at 6 in the morning, and uh, we'll get started from there. So it's supposed to be mild and sunny, so hopefully we'll have a good day. Uh, old business. New business. Hey, two things. Um, as, as we uh, announced with the uh, banner, uh, the rotary <coughs> show kick off is September 30th. Uh, right now is the time that we're looking for sponsors as well as uh, uh, contestants. And uh, I'm not sure who we're going to solicit to be judges. So we may uh, go after the the, the fire chiefs, I know the police we need that out here. <laughs> we're, we're, we're talking about a few different ideas on what we could do um, for judges to give the fire chiefs a, one break, but I don't, I don't think so. I think you guys are going to get called again. Uh, and uh, the chamber has asked me to remind everybody that uh, the car raffle, one of 750 tickets, is going to be aware of a 2018 car as well, or uh, cash. And your uh, odds are very favorable since there's only 750 tickets. If you'd like a ticket, uh, please give me a call or grab me uh, before the end of the meeting because um, I, I have some tickets that I can make arrangements to get you one. I'm good. Did you already buy your ticket? You just got your ticket. They sent me a ticket. Oh. So we have one other thing. Yeah, Mike, I'd like to recommend a, an executive session to discuss the police negotiation. I did personal in an executive session to make a decision. Yes, that's true. We can. Second. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So the, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.